Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Today, easy, simple volley for the fastball coming at ya. Stay tuned. All right, coffee sponsor of today is Summer. Summer writes, love your videos. Oh, thank you, Summer. Thank you very much. Uh, and thank you for the coffee. I appreciate you. If you want to be my coffee sponsor of the day, network is buymeacoffee.com forward slash tennis spin. If you want to support the channel, network is super thanks. Uh, link is below on both. All right. Thank you so much for taking care of me and my Java habit in the mornings. My dentist hates you, but I'm awake and I'm going to entertain you. Yeah, every time I walk into my dentist, it's like, can you brush your teeth after you drink your black coffee, please? Oh, I'm sorry. It's like, at least chew gum or something. Because <laughs> he's always trying to polish my teeth. Anyways, all right, so the reason I thought of this video was because my buddy Geary, who plays a lot at a decently high level for an older dude, um, and we had the Tiburon Challenger in town a week ago, and he somehow persuaded one of the, the players to play with him, and so they were on a practice court for maybe half an hour, and he was watching how the player volleyed. And he was like, can you teach me what you're doing there? Because, I mean, he, we were taught, we were taught to obviously, you know, kind of, kind of, I, well, turn and then go like this and then kind of boom into the ball, right? Like we go, we go turn and we kind of square up our shoulders like this to turn. And then we kind of like do do this or maybe do a little bit of this depending on how you were taught uh, with a continental grip. The guy was like, that's really old school and there's no time for that. And he was like, oh, he's like, the ball's coming at you really fast, you know, especially in the ATP. So all you really have time to do is rack it out like this, like, like just, just here. And you're going to just quickly step down with your shoulder squared at, at the other player or at like this, not like this, because there's no time to get here. So shoulder squared like this, rack it out, right? We come up and then you strike it while your left foot Sorry, so here you go. Square your shoulders, right? And then you step down and you basically strike it while you're basically like this on one foot in the air coming forward. So essentially, essentially it's strike like that. Strike like that. So it's I mean, obviously it looks better when they do it, but I, what I'm saying is it's essentially just you're striking it in the air of your left foot before it stomps down. So your momentum is kind of going forward. Same with the, same with the backhand, just kind of like that. So your momentum is coming forward. All right, so I'm gonna go actually see if Coach Chris knows this. And if maybe I can teach him something. All right, see you on the court.
So Coach Ching actually does a good job of volleying. Thank you. Even though I hit it as hard as I can at him, yeah. it looks like he's just standing there, just kind of boom, boom, or boom, right? Yep. Tell me though, Coach Chris, what your setup is for that. Tell me what you're doing to set up for the, the ones that I'm just Hitting as hard as I can at you. So actually, there's, in terms of when you're playing doubles, I actually recommend practicing a few where people just rip the ball at you. Because sometimes when they're hit really fast, we have a tendency to panic swing or frantically swing at it. But what I've been doing is that I've been, because I've been practicing this, this a lot too as well, especially when it's coming really fast, I've been keeping my elbow kind of tucked in and my racket in front more. All I'm doing is just turning my shoulder and allowing the pace of his shot to come right back into it. I'm really more focused on finding the middle of my strings because if anything, if I start swinging too wildly, it's going to start shanking and, and the volley will start kind of being a little bit um, kind of uncontrollable. So the really goal is to make sure you have that split step turning, stepping in, so step turning, stepping in, making sure that your racket here is always in view and it's out more in front, so you're meeting the ball out in front. Okay. So the reason I wanted to do this particular video was because my buddy yesterday, what the hell was his name? Kevin. <laughs> huh? Kevin? No, no, no. The ball-headed guy? You? No, the other ball-headed guy. Uh, Ching? My fucking ass. No. Gary. Okay. He's scary. Okay, so let me start. I'll, I'll just, just just roll with this. Oh no. All right. So the reason I wanted to do this video, and especially with Coach Ching here, is because my buddy Gary um, said I just learned a great kind of a lesson with one of the ATP pros, the touring pros, that hit with him over at one of the challengers event we had, and he's like. This volley drill that he taught me changed my life. And I'm like, okay. So Gary's a pretty good player, pretty high level. And he's like, for him to say that to me is huge because he's one of those people who, you know, he's kind of a, a racket nerd, uh, plays really well. So for something to kind of surprise him like that, surprised me. And I've known him for 10 years. Nothing surprises me, except when this happens, okay? So, check this out, coach. Okay. He told me that the guy who was, you know, hitting with him on tour, mm -hmm. he said, kind of what you said, though, mm -hmm. but he said, don't turn, though. Mm -hmm. Don't turn. Mm -hmm. He's like, get squared up with with wherever the ball's coming. Mm -hmm. So square up to it, right? Rack it out just like what you said, mm -hmm. but first first step is is kind of back, kind of a back, like a back stroke. So, so it's like it, as the ball's coming, right? And you're ready to hit a volley, it's out, sorry. It's, it's out, back, it's actually back, right? And then like this. But, but, the key to it though was, because the ball's coming so fast, let's say the line, I'm gonna step on the line, right? Is that when you come down and get ready for that volley, that you strike it in the air and then land, okay? Did that make sense? Uh, say it again? So, so as the ball's coming, right? We're stepping, we're kind of stepping back and being on one foot, okay, right, and then shoulder square, not shoulders turn, shoulder square, and then strike. So strike while you're in the air. Okay. Momentum forward. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah. I think though to make sure that you clarify this part of the first step of the volley, it's again initializing your legs a bit more. So 
part of the time when we're volleying, we don't actually use our legs as much as we should be, especially when it's coming really fast at you and really low. After the split step, there is a step to the side where you're really loading with that outside leg. For example, if I'm on the point side, really loading with this outside leg to really push out to the ball versus just right, staying still and just kind of swinging at it, which is sometimes kind of the most common mistakes. You could probably get away with that the further you are back. But if someone is ripping the shot at you really fast, I would challenge you to see if you can get a little bit lower with it and being a bit more tentative and careful with getting that uh, fastball back to you. Because the faster it is, the more explosive and the more dynamic you need to be in order to receive that ball. Your point being exactly is that when to receive it, when do you impact the ball? Well, it's exactly when you step into it, through it, the moment where you stomp your left foot is the exact time where you're trying to make contact with the ball. So it is essentially out of the air, but everyone, and when I hear it, when I see it too as well, is that kind of first strike. Same thing on the back end where you're really moving forward, putting your weight into the ball to really receive it well. Right. So I haven't tried it yet. Okay. So I only know old school. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. Oh, want to feed me some? All right. I tell people less is more yeah I tell myself that too but I'm so used to you know here or here like to keep my hand and arm from moving is just you know it's, it does this I need to like roll it back and and hard to teach somebody that when excuse me when uh, when the ball's coming family friend so fast that that not to, not to do anything, you know, just meet it. And I tell people that too. Yeah. But it's hard when it's coming like that to just stick it out and forward it out. Yeah, I mean, you just have to practice this a little bit more. It's not uh, easy to do because it requires a lot more focus and attention because if you are not ready, you're going to get hit in the face by a ball. But it again, it's just a tennis ball. Uh, what I challenge you to start doing is is making sure that the person who's feeding it at you, right, and the person that you're receiving it back, that you guys are both on the same page before you start feeding. I had Harry come in a little bit closer to that because he needed a he couldn't he couldn't continuously consistently hit it from the baseline. But from the service line, he was able to hit a few good ones where I had to really focus on getting my racket out in front. Um, yeah. I also wanted to see how fast you can get it back, like my ball, too. You probably go faster. Yeah. So let me stand like three feet away from you and then yeah. go point blank range. Yeah. But he can't even swing that like fast. <laughs> so he would just miss so out, just out go, of the court. Let's go like this. He just. <laughs> <laughs> That's, you see how weak that was? Go like this. Yeah. Yeah. And then go. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I guess I hit your tailbone. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I heard my racket vibrate. Uh, Ding. Good thing you're a doctor. Uh, <laughs> All right. Um, so yes. So here's what I learned though today. Here's what I learned, and hopefully you learn. Racket just needs to be here, and everything else comes from the leg explosion. Right? You just it's just here and leg explosion. Just make sure it's at the right height though. Just make sure that when you explode forward, that it's. Ba I mean. Just to simplify the whole thing, it's basically this, or, or, this. That's all it is. It's just not even a swing. It's like you're holding here and just contact. That's it. You can also right? put your hand on your elbow here and just keep it squared away here so that way it's a little bit more balanced. You don't have to put your hand away behind you. 
but it's just making sure that you meet the volley out in front, not behind you. You can get away with that stuff when you're a bit further on the service line, but when it's coming really fast and low, you gotta make sure you stay nice and low too with it so you can meet the ball out in front. But I, I like the squareness and then just the, the contact. So see, shoulders are square, racket is just out front and just contact, yeah. right? On the side angle, shoulders are square, right? All I'm doing is like that. That's all I'm doing. All I'm doing. All right. Thank you, Coach Chris, for explaining. I think I would like to call that the modern volley. Uh, it's right. Maybe practicing uh, high-paced shots, uh, balls that are coming back a little bit faster at you. So quick reaction volleys. I think that's what it is. There you go. There you go. Fast reflexes. Fast twitch muscles. Fast ball coming at you. And Coach Chris actually mentioned one last thing, okay? Get hit, getting hit in the face with a ball. If you do this, you're gonna get hit in the face with the ball. So, so make sure it's there so that you can catch it right, okay? Right, Coach Chris? Yes. You sure? Yes. Well, again, it's just making sure that you're aware. It's not gonna work if you're just like him sometimes. Just hit me. All right. Hit exactly. it at my strings. Exactly. Hit it at my strings. You can't anticipate the ball coming to your strings. You have to move with it or I, be in, uh, block it with your right. I expect as good as he is to hit my strings all the time. Mm. Maybe that's too great of an expectation for no, me. No, man. That's not, that's not true. But anyways. <laughs> all right. Thank you, Coach Chris, for being a good sport and teaching us the way of the volley. Quick reaction volley. Quick reaction volley. Yeah, we'll all right. That. All right. Thank you, Coach Chris. Um, where can they find you, bud? You can find me at CB Chan Tennis. And that's it. All right, guys, thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Oh, this could be it, Harry. Oh, Harry, great contact. Now, the idea, Harry, is we need it to land in the blue. I know you're kind of starting out here. Let's try it again, Harry. Somewhere in the blue space on the other side of the net. Um, Harry. That's a great shot. I think you even hit it on the blue on court three, Harry. It's okay. I, I didn't really specifically say our court. I just said blue. So job well done. Let's try again. Keep it in our space on our court. So this says number one. Here we go, Harry. Give it a shot. Oh, Harry. No, I didn't say hit the number one. Want a coach with positive energy like Coach Rob? Find what your game is looking for at Player Court. Dot com. Oh, Harry, you swung and missed. I bet you can watch the ball a little longer. Try to keep your head still. Oh, Harry, nice try. 